Okay. These were the problem. Yesterday's video, if I'm timing this properly, uh, was the edifier. Well, actually, it was the edifier, then the sound demo, and now it's the swans. These are the M300s. These are the big ones. Hold on. Hold. Hold. I shuffle into the darkness. Come with me, baby. Ah. M200 swans. Basically, I declared these as my favorite speaker. They did everything I wanted. And they worked in the living room. They got loud enough for a living room. And then you put them on a desk and it was orgasmic. And they're beautiful. And this fascia. And the wood. And the angles. And the simplicity. Well, now take that. And I'd say 45% bigger. M200s. Five and a quarter inch. M300s. Six and a half inch coming out on the heels of the Edifier S3000 Pro. Last competition was those versus S2000 Pro. It's the best fight in audio history, right? It is, because here's the thing, no matter who wins, all of us win. I need to bring up... Carpenter Brute, mm-hmm. So, take those, increase the driver size to six and a half, upgrade the tweeter. Now, those were not the plus model. These are the plus model, or they have adopted the things, including Bluetooth. Bluetooth, I, we're gonna get into like the specifics of what's the difference between the two, because these are cheaper than those edifiers. Relax, baby, I got you. Again, another, uh, thing where you take the grill off and is it uglier is it prettier with it on i actually accept these with the grill off i think they look pretty good with the grill off let's let's i think that added girth changes the game a bit where you been up your song you're dusty all right specs 140 watts a piece Six and a half inch remote control. And oh, what a remote control. Aluminum. I'm not sure if these are metal or plastic buttons. It eludes me. There might be plastic buttons, but slight kidney shape. Rest in the hand, a volume at the bottom. Indicator here, small LED blinks. When you hit the maximum, goes red. We do not want to be there. We do not want to be at maximum. Trust me. Now I'm going to control the music a bit. Carpenter Brute, that was Invasion AD. Oh, I hit coaxial. Uh, color change on that. So, remote's simple. Let's, let me talk about the remote for a second. Alright, let's talk about remote. Power, mute, Bluetooth, auxiliary, optical, coaxial, and volume. Now we're gonna go back to optical, which is white for some reason. I don't understand. Light is white, and therefore optical is white. But even though optical has always been red, I don't. I don't get it. Um, you have no idea how loud that is. So I will sit down, like I did in the Edifier review, and I'm gonna keep talking, and then I'm gonna unmute these speakers. So you gotta understand. Exactly how fucking loud they get. It's incredibly loud in here, and it's just. Oh, I hope Carpenter Brute doesn't get me blocked from YouTube. Cheaper than the S3000 Pros, significantly, by a percentage, by a good chunky percentage. But since I'm going to be comparing them to essentially what is the most advanced pair of speakers I've ever used. Let's take a look at them. Get back up here. Let's have, a, let's have a peek, shall we? Back of this is as follows. Port, which is a tube port that goes down, and it's actually rather warm in there. A little warmth here, not too bad. Analog inputs, RCA. Coaxial input, 
fiber optic input. That is what I'm using. My computer's onboard sound card is outputting directly to this via a 25 foot optical cable. If you were to put it in your living room and forgo a surround sound, because that's the kind of good these are. You don't need a sub, you don't need surround processing, you don't need rears, fuck it all, just this. Get an optical cable, hook it to your television, to set it to PCM, you're done. You get a power switch, a power plug, and the wire that goes to the other speaker. Now, that was the big party piece of the edifiers, is they plug into the wall, each one of them, but all your sources go into this, And then you don't have to hook the speakers together at all because they connected wirelessly and then they just sent, this is the right speaker, the left speaker just received it via magic over the internet, over the interwaves, no internet involved, just whatever wireless. Look at the back of this thing. USB, you don't get that on the Swans. XLR, you don't get that on the Swans. Now this has the bass, treble and volume in the back Whereas the Swans have the bass, treble, and volume, and source select in the front. So... Uh, oh, I love this fight! You're gonna question who's winning, though. Because I said, basically, that these are... Spectacular. $800, don't need anything else. Bluetooth 5, Bluetooth 4. Wireless connection between the two, wired connection between the two, and it's a rather short one to boot. I had these speakers up on my ohms, which are roughly nine feet apart. That's eight feet, nine and a half, nine feet apart. And this, ca this cable that goes between the two was stretched out in front of the television. So even sitting here, which is not that far apart, there's not much room to run, say, down a thing and then up behind something and then back up. So, uh, someone I know bought an extension cable for the four pin plug that this is. I will link that in the description because you're gonna need it. Unless you're putting these on your desk, which, Zeos, how are these on a desk? You gotta be prepared for some insane volumes if you're putting them on a desk. They work. I think I would still probably choose the 200s on a desk. That's why I'll link those in the description as well. They're cheaper. They still work. They're just a lot. The word is a lot. Now these speakers. Oh, daddy. These are the daddy speakers. I can't get over how much I love and respect the edifiers. I love and respect you. The DSP corrections these things throw out just boggled the mind, but I put these swans on and it, there's no DSP correction. They just are. And then you could tweak the bass and treble right here, but they're flat. Actually the treble is up a little bit because I am sitting 10 feet back from them. They're up too high. Just like those, the fascia has a slight lean to it. Perfect for a desk. And if you're in a living room situation like this, you'd want to put these speakers about here so they could shoot up slightly towards you. I'm going to link in the description also a set of stands. Ironically, Edifier stands. Edifier made a set of stands for the S2000 Pros, and they work for the 2000, the 3000, and for these because they have wood slots on the side, just like these stands do, but these stands are 36 inches tall and they're not made anymore. I'm probably gonna buy a set of those stands because 28 inches, gonna be perfect. If you're standing, this is fine, but most people are gonna be sitting to listen. Um, I love this remote. The only negative I have to give is like, if I push the button, it doesn't actually go. You have to really, really push the button. You need, you need finger strength. You gotta use your nail or something to get in there. Uh, but you'll notice something different between this and the edifier. The edifier is Tony Stark. The edifier is Iron Man. The edifier is top notch, fucking ready to go. Look at this. You've got uh, four different DSP modes. You could select everything. You've got 
the last track, next track, play, pause. This power volume source. You can't even change the tracks on a Bluetooth device with the Swans. So not only is a Bluetooth four and not five, the edifiers are five and this is four, but you can't hit next track like you can on the edifiers. These are Captain America. That's right, you're gonna pick these freaking speakers based on Marvel characters in the, sh I wanna say shitty cinematic universe, but it's pretty fucking amazing still. Not that I'm shilling for Big Disney, uh, but it's Captain America versus Tony Stark. It's it's all the advanced technologies in the world versus just old-fashioned amps and wire it together and fuck it. And I don't know which one I like better. I, I know which ones you're probably going to buy. You're probably going to buy these. Tired of falling down. Because they're cheaper. But those with the wireless and the better Bluetooth codec and DSP corrections that make them sound perfect. And then the low end, we talk about low end. Remember how I said these had like the most low end I've ever heard? Well, well that's not a good one. And that was not a good one. That's not a good one. That might work. Big gun shooting towards the sky. Hold on. Ah! That's hilarious. What's what soundtrack did I play this in? Did I play this in the um. Oh, I played this in the one with the uh, sound, the uh, stage rights. You yeah, know these sound so much better than those stage rights. Oh my science. I want to say these are the better speaker. I want to say these are cheaper and better than those edifiers, but I know those edifiers hold their fucking own. You don't lose. This is the best boxing match of all time. You know why? You talk to your bookie and you got money on both. Who, no matter who wins, you win. You're gonna, you're going away fucking happy. I have literally disabled my surround sound. This, this receiver off. I have my my computer set to stereo, fiber optic out to these speakers, and I'm done. And I'm watching movies and TV shows and listening, and I have no, I don't, I have a $4,000 Genelec sub here to be reviewed. It's off. Doesn't need to be on. I'd rather just listen to these speakers. It's like the edifiers, and these are the best examples of what you can do for cheap if you get the right equipment and you do your research. Welcome to your, this is the last stop. This video is your last stop in figuring out what you're buying. Now honey, I'm gonna check the internet, see what I should buy for the TV or the living room. Holy fuck, old man, how you doing? My name is Z, I'm here to talk about these speakers and tell you why to put them in your living room. Because you'll tell the wife, oh, I want simple. I wanted to go simple. It's just two speakers, no subs, no crazy surround sound. And that's me going, yeah, yeah, you tell me that. <laughs> yeah, because, um. <laughs> These are audiophile speakers that can produce volumes unbeknownst to human ears before. Are they louder than the edifiers? I'm just twisting my head in sort of a way to like indicate that I don't fucking know. I'm afraid to take them that far. I'm afraid. I'm for, again afraid of these speakers. They're so loud right now. So loud right. Well, that was a, I don't know how loud you are. They're so fucking good. If I haven't announced it yet, it's gonna be an announcement shortly. I am. I'm saying buying, but I am getting a room at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. It's happening. It's expensive. But the room is going to be dedicated to showing people who are going to look at $30,000 stereos what they can get for cheap. Because I'm tired of everyone walking out of there going, well, I guess I gotta spend $30,000 to be happy. I don't know, you don't. You can spend $540 and be fucking amazed. I'm amazed. And this is my job. This is my, look at this fucking wall of speakers. 
What are you all doing wrong? Why aren't you all swans? Except for you, Bukart, you have special things. And all those do all really piercing. Ah, there's so many flavors of ice cream. God damn it. These speakers might be the last speakers you ever need to buy. Like hand on heart. I'd be okay if every speaker I got from now on sounded like this. I'd quit my job. This, this would be over. What do you get? I don't care. They all sound like swans to me, bro. They're so clear. They're so soft and clear. And th that's not a way you describe the sound that's coming out of them. Because it's like, well, does soft mean that they're like muddled and you can't? No, no. I'm standing back here and I can hear every bit of what is like the microphone interference from this Daft Punk song. It's just... It's gorgeous. There's still science in these. These are still DSP corrected speakers, I guarantee it. The difference being, you don't get to choose. Edifier lets you pick. Fully flat, dynamic, sort of twist here, sort of twist there. Fine, I would never use that. that. Use that though, use though that. I'm losing my mind, sorry. I set those to dynamic and I leave them there. So that means you're back to one setting. And these come with one setting. You want wood on the side, these got wood on the side. You want to spend under a thousand but over five hundred? Deal. They look good with the covers on or off? Fucking sold. Just accept the words because the sound demo, I haven't recorded the sound demo yet and it won't matter. The sound demo will never grasp what these speakers can do. You gotta see them in person. You gotta feel them in person. You gotta order them, use them, and return them if I'm lying. Come to the comments and call me a piece of shit. If you hook these up and you give them 20 hours, because I give every speaker at least 20 hours of run-in before I, did, I judge it. Because sometimes you get a speaker and it's like, oh, it lacks a little bit of the low end, but there's physical, mechanical things that are moving and stretching and sort of relaxing, and then it, it it's never like components. It's just physicality. <laughs> Oh, here's another thing, another little piece to the puzzle. These speakers play quiet a little bit better than the edifiers. So if we keep lowering that volume, just, just, just low, how's low, how low can we go? That the lowest? Pick another song, you say? I don't know what this is, let's go up. All right, that's barely playing. It's, there's actual like, there's an enjoyable amount. It, it, the perfect speakers. The edifiers have more going on for them. I would still recommend the edifier speakers just for that wire, just to get rid of this fucking wire. This fucking wire that has to tether between the two. I, there's been one speaker in my entire life that has had that option. It's that one, and I respect it, and I would still fucking, mmm. Like the Vanitus there, the Vanitu T1 Encores. They're very good speakers. They're not this. They're going to get reviewed. I haven't reviewed them yet. I fucked up. I should have reviewed the T1 Encores and released them three weeks ago. Because these are the same money. And they're massive. They miss out on a couple features, a couple corrections. There's no subwoofer out on these, but you don't need, I don't need a subwoofer any longer. No. I have no idea how fucking loud it is. That's a perfect circle of the outsider. The apocalypse mix. That's what these are. These are apocalyptically good. I cannot build any more hype for these fucking speakers. I built so much hype for those, they were hard to get. When I reviewed those, I waited too long and they were hard to get. These, I bought them, I put them up here, I haven't taken them fucking down. I've been using them as Bluetooth, I've been using them as for, for music, and then I switch them over and it's just like, you know what, I'm gonna watch every TV show and movie and Mob Psycho, all with these. And I am not let down. The yard sale's coming.
right? Let me, tell, let, me, let me end this video before it gets to like 23 minutes long, 25 minutes long. Where are we now? Let me end this video. That wallpaper, she's one of the best girls in the show, by the way, in the description. We'll start with that. Then we're gonna move on to the Patreon. If you wanna join and support this channel, because I bought, Edifier sent me those. They want them back, they want them back. But they sent them to me and said, here's a new speaker, you wanna review it, $800. I'm like, oh, thank God I don't have to buy it. They sent me those. But because they sent me those, I had to use the Patreon money to buy these because that's the rivalry, because I had to know. And if I have to know, then you have to know. And if you have to know, then we all have to know. One of these two speakers will end up staying with me. Either I will ask Edifier to sell me those, or I'm just gonna keep these. Something's going in the yard sale. The Patreon is supported by you. You guys give me the money to spend it frivolously on audio stuff so that I have things to review. And from the first to the 10th of every month, I sell you back that stuff. You give me $5, great. You still pay me $5, then you're in thing, you could buy a $1,000 set of speakers for 600 bucks, if it comes around to it, if, you're, if your bid comes up. You also get to see these reviews about a week early hopefully and you get to talk to me if you want I, I can't go into detail on that I'm just I'm still just staring at these speakers I want to talk about nothing but these speakers I want people to hear them that's why the Rocky Mountain room is happening because Swan doesn't get a fucking room in Rocky Mountain hell Ohm doesn't get a room in Walk Rocky Mountain Rocky Mountain wow what a place that would be I'm going there to show off what good things are available without spending $20,000. What the fuck is that and why do I have it? The blackest beautiful, let live, dream, dreamer's disease, that's, that's a thing. It's Gustav Holt. I know for a fact this will get me pulled off the internet, so I can't, I can't play it. I want to just sit here and play music for you guys. I want you to sit here with me on my couch, snuggle up with me, snuggle up with Zios, and listen to what these speakers can fucking do. Or, take your entire budget that's in your head for a surround sound on your surround receiver, and then I'm going to need a subwoofer, and then I'm going to need a center channel at some point, and then I'm gonna need, you know, left and right, and maybe a fucking stop. Fiber optic cable, these. I've seen so many bad surround sounds, so many lackluster, half-ass put together surround sounds. It's just like, well, they really need to upgrade this, and they shouldn't have gone with that. That's a waste of money. Stop it. $530 and a cable, and you're done. You no longer need surround sound. There's no upgrading it. There's no adding a receiver to this because they're powered monitors. You just, you finish. These are some of the best speakers I've ever heard. They are equal to or greater than the edifiers. I'm going to say equal to because as much as I love the sound of these, those still had options and those have more features. So you're balancing off. You're paying more for better tech. This only has an amplifier in one side. The speaker weighs more. If you're OCD like I am, this speaker weighs more than this speaker because that has the amps and this doesn't. Whereas the edifiers, both speakers get plugged in, both speakers have amp, and one side gets the input signal. It's a hard choice. Most people are gonna buy these because they're cheaper. Straight up, I know how the internet works. But you know what? They're not bad any way, shape, or form. I can't. I can't. I can't even listen to music anymore. Alright, we're done here. We finished this? Did we finish it? Should I restart it? I don't know. They're so fucking good. All right, buy swans, God damn it! I built those swan three ways and they're amazing and they're in a closet now. You know why? Because the treble was a little bit off. 
because they weren't DSP corrected, because they were just a crossover unit. When you get into their powered stuff, where, where the actual heart of the thing is just give it signal and let it do its magic, that's when Swan makes the best speakers on Earth. And they make much more expensive speakers than this, and I'd love to hear them. All right, it's over. Again, wallpaper, sound demo, links. I'll link to the edifiers in this review. I link to the Swans in the edifier review. I'll see you all tomorrow again for the sound demo, unless you want to see it tonight. And you'll find this on the Patreon. Hi, patrons. Everybody in there. God almighty. My job is... Where do I go from here? They've ruined a lot of things, these speakers. Fucking... F fuck you, swan! High vibe bastards. <laughs>